what's up guys welcome back to rooms for you by this video let's look at latest half coyos 4.11 running on xiaomi poco x3 pro the build is based upon android 11 and it is official how coyos used to be one of the best daily driver for poco phone f1 this is the first time i am trying on how coyos on poco x3 pro let's see how does it performs when it comes to poco x3 pro before getting started, if you are new here, sub to the channel would be really appreciated. So. To begin with, let's quickly get into about phone session. Android version is 11 and Havacoyos version is 4.11. Android security patch coupled here is from 5th November 2021. SC Linux is also enforcing in this build. Under system settings, there is option for checking system update. You can get information about your OTA via this channel. You will be able to enable or disable developer options from here. Moving forward under security settings, there is option for fingerprint, face unlock and app lock and more. Face unlock here is faster enough. Same goes with fingerprint unlock. Both locking options are pretty much responsive. App lock is present in this build. Once you add your applications into app lock, you will be able to unlock it via face unlock or fingerprint unlock. Both these options are working without any issue. Finally, out of the box the ROM is encrypted. Under storage session, you will be able to see overall internal memory usage. After installing almost all the applications I am using right now, the ROM is only occupied 25.99 GB. After selecting the storage type, you will be able to get more detailed information about storage consumption. Under battery settings, the ROM does include pixel thermal switching. Under thermal profiles, you will be able to select your appropriate thermal. Configuration Center does include all integrated form of customizations. Under lock screen settings, the ROM does include tap to wake as well as sleep option. You will be able to enable or disable lock screen notifications from here. There is ambient display available, but I am not a fan of ambient display. I only suggest ambient display if you have a AMOLED display. Anyway, Poco S3 Pro does not come out with AMOLED display. Under buttons and navigations, you will be able to switch in between gestures as well as virtual navigation options. Miscellaneous option does include gaming mode. After selecting gaming mode, there is game list available. You will be able to select applications into the list from here. When you open that application, you will be getting a bubble to access gaming mode. The gaming mode does include screenshot, screen recorder, do not disturb as well as some testing options. It is totally your personal preference to use this or not. Anyway, this option does not come out with FPS info. Under status bar settings, there is option for clock screen. Also, you will be able to set custom logo from here. Brightness control is available and other notifications like network speed, career label as well as tap to sleep are available here. All these options are working without any issue. When you come to home screen and swiping from left to right, you will be able to get Google Feed. The Google Feed here is really responsive. Of course, the supportive of 120Hz display is really doing its job. After selecting the mic icon, you will be able to call Google Assistant. I did try enabling voice recognition for Google Assistant, but the Assistant is not working as I expected. Maybe by next update, we will be able to see some improvement in this area. The QS panel here is pretty much smooth enough. And by selecting edit button, you will be able to add more tiles into the list. But the ROM does come out with screen recording feature. And it is capable of recording internal audio and microphone at a time. After enabling the option, I didn't notice any lags or jitters with app opening or closing animations, which is something Great. When you come to reason menu, there is lock, clear, or screenshot options are available. Let me quickly check what does this lock option does. After choosing an application and enabling lock, 
the application will be remaining in recent menu even if you select clear all option. But as of now it is not fully functional. Once I select clear all option and coming back to recent menu I can see the app there but I am not able to recall it. As of now I consider this as a bug. Screenshot option is available and it is working without any issue. Out of the box the ROM does come out with Google Go as its default camera application. Application is capable of doing all the basic need, photo, video as well as portrait and more. I did try clicking few photos with this application and result was really good. Even though the Google Assistant is not capable of responding to voice, you can call out the Google Assistant swiping up from any of the corners. Anyway, it is working without any issue. Out of the box, the ROM does pass a safety net checks. And when you come to Google Play and settings, Google Play product certification is also present. After setting up gaming thermals, and two scores 5 lakh 89,000 plus and Geekbench scores for single core 758 and multi core 2585, which are decent scores for Snapdragon 860. To understand more about performance, I did do a 30 minute CPU throttling test, as the result was really great. The ROM did started with 273,000 plus as its GIPS value and managed to pull out 254,000 GIPS value as its average. And almost all the time, the ROM did manage to keep up graphs in green. Keep in mind that I have selected gaming thermals for this application. There are few bugs available, but they are not any major one. Only one negative side of this ROM is that it is still in Android 11. Leaving that behind, you can consider this as a daily driver as well as for gaming. I cannot guarantee that the gaming will be at its extreme level. But of course, if you are a average or above average gamer, you can consider this ROM without any major bugs or issues. Even the ROM is supportive of fast charging, as well as you are going to get more than 8 hours of battery backup with average gaming experience. Keep in mind that battery backup can vary according to what graphic level you are setting if you are a gamer. Overall, Havoc OS 4.11 is one of the best ROM for Poco X3 Pro. That's it guys, hope this video was helpful to you. Like and shares are always appreciated. Subscribe if you are new here and I'll catch you in next one.